Hello amigos, welcome back to my channel. Today we're once again reacting to what you guys put in the comments down below. So be remember to hit that like and subscribe button and if there's anything you'd like me to react to next, please put it down in the comments below and I'll make sure I get to it as soon as I possibly can. But without any further ado, today we're reacting to Gotje performing somebody that I used to know. Uh, and I must say, when uh, I read the comment that recommended this one, I was like, well, I already know that song and I've listened to it when I was younger. Uh, I was... Um, Whenever I listened to it, I thought about an ex-girlfriend or a girl I was seeing and uh, it broke my little teenager's heart. So I figured uh, I would uh, instead react to a live version because I'd never listened to them doing it live. So uh, without any further ado, let's just see what Gotje has for us today. Let's go. And I absolutely loved this song back then, back in the day, even if it brought me a little bit bad memories and I was tearing my shirt open. Anyway, <laughs> let's watch this. Let's go. Oh, yeah, there it is. The memories. I remember back when MTV was actually standing by the M in MTV, the music part, this was playing all day, all night, uh, and I was loving it. Uh, those were the days. Uh, back when I was in high school, I think, I was listening to this one. And uh, yeah, the, it's so iconic. Tin, 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 tin. <laughs> And that's a very deep message when he says now you're just somebody that I used to know and that happens in life there's people that uh, there's people in my life that have been very very good friends let's say in high school or in university we're not in touch anymore and now they are just somebody that I used to know and I am somebody that they used to know because we we lose uh, we lose connection and it's sad especially when it happens with people that you were really really close with it doesn't have to be a girlfriend or a boyfriend it happens with friends you grow up you go your separate ways in my particular case i um uh, i am from mexico but i uh, came to work in a different country and i lost touch with a lot a lot a lot of people and <laughs> this song just makes me sad uh, it's not only thinking about uh, uh, my girlfriends or, or ex-girlfriends, it's uh, also about uh, friends. Uh, they are somebody that I used to know and I am as well. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's continue with this one. <laughs> Sometimes 
they sound by the way i didn't mention this but they sound incredible live i like i said in the beginning of the video i already knew the studio version but uh, sing, having them singing it live, wow, they're really, really good. Uh, and this, like I said, this brought back a lot of memories of me just singing my heart out, uh, thinking of Maria. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, not Maria. Uh, let's just read some of the comments. All jokes aside, this is an amazing live performance. Uh, jokes aside, what, what are the jokes? Uh, maybe I need to read uh, some more comments. I don't know if there's a common joke going on. She's so cool and talented. She sang it perfectly while doing the Kamehameha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, she's doing so All right. Uh, I can't be the only person returning to this song every once and then. The fact that both of them made a song over 10 years ago and is still one of the best vocal pieces I've ever heard is wild. I hope they are doing good, whatever they are. Uh, this song is so universal, it could have been released in 1982, 2002 or 3052, it would still fit. Kimbra casting spells on her ex while, <laughs> while crushing it on the mic, what a legend. Gotcha really dropped the hardest breakup anthem of the 2010s, collected the bag and dipped. Mad respect. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this was the breakup anthem in 2010. In 2010. Absolutely. Um, I remember when this song came out, I had just broken up with my girlfriend at the time and was feeling very depressed. This song hit me so hard back then and it still hits hard 10 years later. Thank you, Gotcha. Uh, okay, it seems like I'm not the only one uh, that was uh, rocking this one while cursing Maria uh, out loud. Uh, Kimbra is legit, chilling in the background for most of the song and then just kills it. I can watch her sing all day, it's crazy how our arm movement can change the tone of our voice. We need this man again for one song in the 2020s and then deep again. Okay, so it looks like they just made, um, at least from the from the comments, it seems like they made one song, they took the bag, and uh, they never returned. Uh, but maybe we need a, uh, another breakup song now in 2022 or coming to 2023 now. But anyway, I guess that is it for today's video. As usual, if there is anything you'd like me to react to next, please put it down in the comments below and I'll make sure I get to it as soon as I possibly can. But without... Sorry, but without any further ado, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.